Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with yet another basic concept which the students are taught at uh, class 4, class 5 level and uh, they follow the traditional method of uh, doing this uh, concept but the same concept is asked in competitive exams also where you cannot afford to spend so much time by applying the traditional method. So today I am going to tell you one shortcut through which you can find out which of the two given rational numbers is greater or smaller or whether they are equal or not. This simple concept can be dealt with within say a blink of an eye only and you can tell by just looking at the rational numbers which of the two rational numbers is greater or which of them is smaller. So, you don't have to follow the traditional method, you don't have to divide the two rational numbers to find them in decimal form first and then tell which of them is greater. Now I am taking one example for demonstrating this concept. Say we have 4 by 3 and 7 by 6. Now we have to find out which of these two rational numbers is greater or we have to put one of these signs greater than less than or equal to sign in between them. Junior students are told like that. Whereas in competitive exams, you are asked to find the greatest among four given rational numbers and so on. So, for doing this in one step, what you need to do is just multiply this 4 by the denominator of the other rational number. So, 4 into 6 gives you 24 and similarly multiply this 7 by the denominator of the other fraction 3 which gives you 21. Now the side in which you get the larger product here the product is 24 and here the product is 21. So the larger product is on this side 24. So we have 4 by 3 is greater than 7 by 6. So using this simple concept you can tell that 4 by 3 is greater than 7 by 6 just by looking at the two fractions and not by doing the traditional method. I will just show you the method through which the teachers are, teach the junior students uh, about uh, finding this uh, concept of greater and less. Now in junior classes what they do is 4 by 3 and 7 by 6 they make the students find the LCM of 3 and 6, LCM of 3 and 6, which is 6. So they multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. So this becomes 8 by 6, and this is obviously 6 already. So multiply by 1, 7 by 6, and now they compare the numerators. But this process becomes more tougher when the numbers in the denominator are higher. So you have to find the LCM of big numbers which is a tedious work in itself. Now let us take one more example say 4 by 9 and 5 by 6. Now in these two fractions again you do the same thing 4 into 6 24 5 into 9 45 so obviously 45 is greater so 4 by 9 is less than 5 by 6. See, things become so simple, so easy when we have the shortcuts to do anything and even the junior students can test whether they have put the right sign between the two rational numbers or not just by cross multiplying them and checking which of the two products is greater. Now coming to mixed fractions. In case of mixed fractions also, you can follow the same procedure. Say we have, this is first example, second, now third. We have one mixed fraction where, wherein we have to compare 2 5 by 6. It is a mixed fraction and now 2 3 by 2. Now obviously when there is a comparison to be done between two mixed fractions, the first number 2 will be same in both the fractions. Otherwise it is automatically uh, known that which of the two numbers is greater. So we have to just compare 5 by 6 and 3 by 4. 5 4 are 20 and 6 3 is 18. So we get 20 and 18 as the product. So 20 is greater. So the mixed fraction 2 5 by 6 is greater than 2 3 by 4. 
similar is the case when we have to find the greatest among two or three rational numbers three given rational numbers say we have 5 by 6 as first rational number and we have 2 by 3 and we have say 7 by 9 now we have to find which of them is greatest or we have to arrange them in descending order or ascending order any type of question which the junior students are doing regularly uh, in the class so now what we do is we compare the first two now 5 3 is a 15 6 2 is a 12 so obviously 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 15 is greater than 12 so 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 similar observations you can do for 5 by 6 and 7 by 9 so 5 by 6 and 7 by 9 9 5 is a 45 7 6 is a 42 so this is greater than this also so we have 5 by 6 as the greatest of the three because 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 3 and 5 by 6 is also greater than 7 by 9 now we compare these two 18 and 21 so 7 by 9 is greater because 21 is greater than 18 so we have the descending order as this so see we don't have to do any writing work just mentally we can calculate the cross multiplied products and find out which of the following given rational numbers is greatest or smallest now let us do one activity i i have 12 questions written here and i have to insert a greater less or equal to sign between these 12 questions now see how much time i take to do all these problems whereas by traditional method each question will consume one minute at least if the child knows the concept properly so here i go 16 35 so 35 is greater 15 8 15 is greater 51 52 52 is greater 35 32 35 is greater 84 84 they are equal 63 50 63 is greater 65 66 66 is greater 75 70 75 is greater 27 16 27 is greater 4 4 is same so 6 7 7 is greater 10 and 9 10 is greater and 18 18 they are equal see it takes just one or two seconds only to find out which fraction is greater so students do the concepts by these methods they do save a lot of time in competitive exams and you will definitely feel a touch above the others so keep learning keep enjoying and share and subscribe the video if you like it